Kailash, center of the universe, where nature and the spirit meet, the holiest of holiest mountains. Within its flanks, worshippers from many faiths believe the gods live there. For centuries, Mount Kailash has been a destination for pilgrims and those who seek majesty in nature. In the Hindu faith, it is believed that Lord Shiva lives at the summit of Mount Kailash. There he sits in perpetual meditation with his wife, Parvati. Tantric Buddhists believe the 21,778-foot mountain is home to Buddha Demchok. Whatever one's belief, Mount Kailash is set in a spiritual landscape of great natural beauty. A destination for pilgrims from around the world, Mount Kailash is situated in a remote part of the Tibet Autonomous Region of China. While the mountain is the focal point of the pilgrimage, the true experience also encompasses the journey. In the shadow of Mount Kailash lies Lake Manasarovar, a treasured destination for Hindus. It is believed that at midnight the gods come down from the surrounding peaks to purify themselves in its sacred waters. The lake is freshwater, unusual at such high altitude, and is some 80 kilometers in diameter. Birds fly over the surface of the lake through the peace of the day and the beauty of Tibet. In this unique region, gods and nature reign. Pilgrims arrive by road, which takes six days from Kathmandu, by helicopter, by foot, and more recently by plane, landing at the newly opened airport near Lake Manasarovar. Pilgrims from different faiths set out on this once-in-a-lifetime journey. When they first see Mount Kailash together with Lake Manasarovar, many are overwhelmed, eyes filled with tears as they pray and dance for joy. The Indian Pilgrimage Service Centre in Lhasa, Tibet, estimates thousands and thousands of tourists from around the world make the journey to this remarkable place every year.
the spiritual, the curious and devout, researchers, cultural tourists, the inquisitive. They come from all nationalities, cultures and creeds, fulfilling long-held ambitions to experience Mount Kailash. Fishtail Travel is proud to have assisted many thousands of pilgrims on such a journey. Untouched by the worries, noise and trouble of our busy, everyday world, Tibet and the region around Mount Kailash gives the traveller an opportunity to see the earth as it once was. Wild and domestic animals can be seen roaming freely across the largest plateau in the world. While this holy land may be far from home, pilgrims bring with them and celebrate their faith and belief in all manner of familiar ways. Hari hi Om, Om Namah Shivaya. Om Sahana Vavato, Sahana Bunakto. Sahaviryam karavavahai Tejasvinavadi tamastumavidvishavahai Om Shanti 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 Mount Kailash is the center of the universe. If you have faith, you can reach and attain whatever you want. Lord Shiva will help you to achieve your goal. Today we had a very nice darshan. And fortunately, the weather was so cooperating. Those who are present here, those even who are listening to this, definitely get the benefits from Lord Shiva. Hari Hi Om. They bring candles, clothing, flowers and other offerings for their pujas. Hi, my name is Shrikesh Rathapatna. I'm from Toronto, Canada. Came all the way from North America to the Himalayas to perform a, a parikrama of Holy Kailash, of course, and then also uh, take part in the Havan and the Abhishekam. Abhishekam is basically where we give bath to our idol, our god. We bring an idol and today it was Shiva. And for Shiva we basically offered water to cleanse as we did also, taking a bath in the holy Manasarova river, uh, lake, sorry. And uh, basically yes, I enjoyed it. I took part in chanting the Rudra. And the Rudra is just a part of the Vedas and it's a tribute to Lord Shiva. And Shiva resides on the holy Kailash. ಸ್ವಾಹಾಹಾಹಾಹಾಹಾಹಾಹಾಹಾಹಾಹಾಹಾಹಾಹಾಹಾಹಾಹಾಹಾಹಾಹಾಹಾಹಾಹಾಹ
carry luggage and look after people's general welfare. Although uncommon, the effects of altitude can affect a few individuals. In such cases, the helping hand of the Sherpas is there to assist. Friendships are often established between Sherpas and members of the group, which can be as large as 80 people. Simple, simple, kanchi, ko dimple par ne gala. Simple, simple, kanchi, ko dimple par ne gala. Namaskar, I am Gilu Sherpa, Fishtel Travel. Today, our friends are here. और आज का जो पूजा के लिए और आज तक के लिए जितना भी धन्यवाद हम लोग के लिए मिल रहा मिला ये सब के लिए बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद On the other side of the mountains from Lake Manasarova lies Monster Lake Contrast is everything in the cold blue waters of Monster Lake, it is believed that devils come to bathe. The opportunity to see this lake happens only on the way to the base of Mount Kailash. There is Yamadwar, the gateway to heaven, from where we start our three-day trek, known as a Kora, and Parikrama, which means making a single circuit around a holy site. One of the more extreme examples of trekking can be found amongst the devotees. They prostrate themselves every few steps as they undertake the Parikrama round Mount Kailash. On the way up to the mountain, pilgrims experience a wealth of religious and natural sites. Monasteries, rivers, glaciers, snow-capped mountains, lakes, sparse vegetation. Some walk. Some ride. and some crawl. But all make their way round the holy mountain. Hindus and Buddhists go round clockwise. On their way they meet bonds coming anti-clockwise. In support of this trek, yaks accompany the group, carrying essentials such as bedding and camping equipment, cooking utensils, water and food. The first night is spent at Dirapuk, a camp at the base of Mount Kailash, close to the south face. The climb is more demanding as the groups approach higher altitudes. On the second day, we cross Dromla Pass, the highest point on our journey. Many have passed this way before, drawing strength from the prayer flags blown by the wind. The three-day trek takes pilgrims from 14,100 feet to 18,500 feet.
Passing through Dromla and down some 60 feet lies Gauri Kund. This mystical lake is best known for when Parvati came to meditate and saw her husband, Lord Shiva, roaming around in Kedanath in India. At the end of the second day, we camp at Jutal Puk, which is 3,600 feet below the Dromla Pass. The next day, we walk a leisurely three and a half hours to meet the transport that will take us home. But before the engines start, we celebrate. Fishtail travel offers physical support to pilgrims and specialises in making their ambitions come true. Experienced, committed and knowledgeable, the guides, drivers and Sherpas have successfully supported devotees on their pilgrimages for 14 years. Overlooking the distant plains of Tibet, Mount Kailash and Lord Shiva sit in enduring tranquility. Drawn by the spirit, people from all over the world make their pilgrimages to circle the mountain and achieve a lifelong ambition. Pilgrims take home with them unique and remarkable memories. And all the while, Mount Kailash awaits those who answer its call. <laughs> 